Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing solutions on a number line. This is standard 6.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 which is a new item type called inline choice off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we're drawing a ray on the number line that represents solution to the inequality 10x is greater than 60. Let's open up our graph draw feature, make it a little bit more transparent. So this is the inequality here. So what we need to do is we need to first solve for that x, but then we need to draw the correct ray here. And, and before we get too far into it, right, let's just notice that you've got three options. The endpoint of the ray should be either an open or solid circle. The endpoint is or is not part of the solution set. And then the ray should point to the left or the right. Okay, so we draw it first, and then these should be able to be pretty pretty easy. There are three questions here. And so watch what happens if I only try to select two. There is going to be an error message. Even though there are uh, three options here, it's only a two-point problem. So you get both points if you answer all three correct. You get one point if you only answer two correct. And if you answer one or zero correct, you get no points. So first, let's just solve this. 10x is greater than 60. Well, how do we solve for that x? Well, we need to do the same thing on both sides of the inequality to keep it balanced. 10 is being multiplied by x, so my inverse operation is multiplication. Multiplication and division are inverse, so the inverse of multiplication is going to be my division. So I've got my 10 divided by 10. That cancels itself out. 10 divided by 10 is 1. Anything times 1 is itself. So how do we get rid of the 10 times? We do divided by 10. We had to do that on the other side as well. So x is going to be greater than 60 divided by 10. What is 60 divided by 10? Oh, look, it just dropped the 0. 6 over 1, that's just 6. So it's just x is greater than 6. You have to flip the inequality if you multiply or divide by a negative. In this case, we divided by positive 10, so we're good. So I think that x is going to be greater than 6, right? So I'm going to draw a circle there at 6. And then I'm going to draw my arrow off to the right. Now I'm choosing an open circle because if it were greater than or equal to, then I would close the circle and include 6. But since it's simply greater than 6, I actually don't include 6 in the number set. So let's choose um, a number that's greater than 6. I'll go 10 because 10 is easy. Let me plug it back into the original one. So 10 times 10 is greater than 60. 100 is greater than 60. Yes, OK. Uh, let's see what happens if I choose 6 itself. So I'm going to go back to the original one. 10 times 6 is greater than 60. 60 is greater than 60. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. If I said greater than or equal to, I'd be fine. And that's why anything greater than 6 is going to be working. And then obviously if I choose something that's less than, it should not work. 10 times 0 is greater than 60. 0 is definitely not greater than 60. All right, so it looks like I'm good right here. Now I just need to translate this into the actual answer. Okay, so the end point of the ray should be blank circle. Let's see. Well, I did an open circle. If I wanted to do the greater than or equal to, what I would do here is I would draw, like if I did that right here, I would do that with a closed circle, that means include 6, but it's an open circle. The endpoint at 6 is not, that's what the open circle means. It's not part of the solution set because 6 doesn't work. And the ray should point to the right because it's going to be greater than. So those are my three answers.